Welcome to Vanquisher's TCG, a sci-fi hero-based card game. In this tutorial, we will review the standard gameplay. You start by selecting a hero. These are the things you want to be aware of. Hero class faction icon. Life points. Energy shield points. Defense points. Energy shield recovery points. Energy class type. Usable weapon types such as range, melee, critical art, hand-to-hand, -hand. this is the V-Trigger icon. Once you V-Trigger, you can unleash your unique ability along with permanent stat increase at a V-Trigger storage energy cost. Now place your hero in the hero slot on the board. Determine how many life points your selected hero has and place the red cube on the board. Your hero has 20 life points. Now determine how many energy shield points your hero has and place the blue cube on the board. Your hero has 20 energy shield points. Place the green storage energy point cube over the icon. This will need to be built up during the game. Now place your shuffle deck on the board in the deck slot. Each player grabs a die to roll. The player with the highest roll will go first. Start by drawing 7 cards. At the start of each turn, you will draw one additional card. To activate cards, you must meet the energy storage cost at the top left corner of the card. To build storage energy points at the beginning of your turn, you must exile one card from your hand. After exiling, take the green cube on the board and move it over one point. You do not have enough points to activate any cards now, so simply declare end turn. At the beginning of your next turn, draw a card. Choose another card to exile and build up your storage energy points. Now with enough storage energy points, you can activate the focus ability. Place it on the board in the ability slot. You have no other action to make. End turn. Now your hero takes damage from the enemy. All damage applies to your energy shield points before your life points. At the beginning of your turn, you can choose to recover your energy shield points by permanently losing one storage energy point. Refer to your hero card to determine how many shield points you can recover. This hero recovers 10 shield points. Now draw a card, exile another card, and continue building your storage energy points. Activate Energy Blast. This ability deals direct damage to the enemy. After the ability card has been used, place the card in the discard slot on the board. For this next example, we're going to speed up the game a bit, giving you 7 storage energy points. At the beginning of your turn, draw a card. Activate the Phalanx Weapon card at a cost of 5 storage energy points. This weapon requires 2 kinetic ammunition to use. With 2 storage energy points remaining, you can activate the 2 ammunition cards, meeting the weapon requirements. Now you can target the enemy. First determine your weapon's targeting value. 7 is your targeting. Then determine the enemy's defense value. 11 is the enemy's defense. Now subtract your targeting value from the defense value, leaving the enemy with 4 defense remaining. Now roll the dice to meet or exceed the remaining defense value. You rolled a 9, exceeding the remaining defense value. Now you can deal damage to the target enemy. Refer to your weapon card to determine how much damage you deal. You now deal 3 kinetic damage. Let's activate your V-Trigger. This will allow you to unleash your hero and weapon's unique ability, but it will come at a cost. You will permanently lose those storage energy points. Refer to your hero card to determine the cost. Flip your hero card over to signify that you have V-Triggered. 
Now you can use the hero ability and all V-Trigger weapon abilities. The game ends when a player's hero loses all of their life points. Even if they have energy shield points remaining, this is still considered a defeat. Now you are properly equipped to vanquish your enemies. For detailed rules, visit our website at vanquisherstcg.com. Vanquishers out.